Well, Randy, the crowds that were gathered outside of the Capitol lawn here have cleared for the most part. There's still a couple people out here that are coming and going, but it seems most people are heading home um, after this evening's uh, festivities. And for the most part, what we witnessed this rally was peaceful. Now, several organizations, including Black Lives Matter Minnesota and Communities United Against Police Brutality, rallied thousands of people together at the last minute today for what they're calling an emergency response rally for Breonna Taylor. The crowd heard from several different family members of those who have lost loved ones to police brutality here in Minnesota before marching through the streets of St. Paul and then on to the interstate, Interstate 94 to be exact. Many people we spoke with say what took place in Louisville today is serving as an unfortunate reminder of just how far we still have to go when it comes to laws being changed to protect all people. We can't keep letting this happen. The cops are killing people and they say it's legal and we don't believe that should be legal and we have to stand out and make a change. And many people we spoke with say we have to create the world that we want to live in. And they say that starts by taking to the streets and calling for change. And that's exactly what took place here in St. Paul tonight. Randy.